New Twitter CEO Elon Musk once again in the spotlight tonight, this time after putting out an informal Twitter poll on whether he should step down as the platform's CEO. He's been doing these polls this time. It concluded yesterday afternoon with 57 percent voting yes. You see it there. He later made a cryptic tweet saying, quote, be careful what you wish for as you just might get it. So far, he's not made any mention on whether he is actually leaving the company, but joining us now to talk about it is internet and social media expert Owen Video. Owen, just when you think the Twitter turmoil cannot get more interesting, there's yet another twist. What are your thoughts on, on that poll? He's been doing them and he's been honoring them since he started taking yeah, over Yeah, and I'll tell you, when, uh, when President Musk, I mean, sorry, when Elon <laughs> Musk uh, made this post, you know, it was a real interesting moment in social media because he did say, I will abide by the results of this post. And it could be that he, in his own ego, made a statement on Twitter, Twitter that sort of backfired on him. I want to be the first person to suggest that that might have been the case, but it seems far more likely that Elon Musk already knew what he was going to do, whether or not the answer was yes or whether or not the answer was no. I mean, this is a guy who was the richest man in the world and became so not from popular lemonade stands, mm. but by inventing rockets and space stuff. So he's no fool. And my guess is, is that like any CEO, he had already picked uh, someone to succeed him in this role. And so whether the poll came out yes or whether the poll came out no, my my suspicion is that he already had a plan in place, and this is probably not going to derail that plan. Interesting. So I'm reading up that he kind of responded to another one of those Twitter users that said he already had somebody picked out, to which he said, no one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive. There is no successor. What do you break down from that exchange? Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, th this is where I feel like, okay, so maybe he, his ego got a hold of him here, and he's like, I will step down mm. if you want me to. And then people are like, yes, please step down. And he's like, well, well hang on, there's, there's <laughs> nobody here that can do this. But, but if we, if we kind of step back a little bit and, and, and take a look at what Elon Musk went through to acquire Twitter, and I think that it, it goes without saying that his interests were not uh, totally business-related. Uh, Twitter wasn't generating huge profits, but... I think that he has an objective to free up and reduce censorship in the marketplace today. So he's he's not going to just step aside. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you we look at the tweet he tweeted out, I believe it was yesterday, he tweeted out, "Oops, sorry, I made a mistake," referring to some other technical thing that he was talking about, which tells me that Elon Musk is willing to admit when he made a mistake. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a tweet coming out in the next day or two that was like, I was wrong, so sorry, I'm going to remain the CEO of Twitter for a little bit of time. But even if that doesn't happen, you know, he didn't say when he would step down. He didn't say what the circumstances would be. So at the end of the day, this is what Elon, this is Elon Musk doing what Elon Musk mm -hmm. does really well. This is bringing attention to himself, bringing attention to his his uh, companies and to his mission. I think we're going to see some really surprising things before the end of the year. And I will say this. Isn't he more exciting than Jeff Bezos? I mean, this has been a uh, Twitter history for the books, that's for sure. Exciting. We've all been on the roller coaster. I'm curious, though, do you think that this is going to be enough to get back some of those advertisers that have pulled away? Or do you see this being something with Elon's name attached to it as kind of yeah. always going to have that shroud of, of no, maybe... I don't. I think that Elon, you know, outside of sort of these outspoken political circles, the common man has a lot of respect for Elon Musk. Elon Musk has a mission that is trans political, right? He he is working on things that are dear to the right. He's working on things that are dear to the left. And so he has this sort of every man appeal. And I think that he's going to turn Twitter into a viable business that is thriving on what three quarters fewer employees than what wow. they had. I know that's not a popular opinion, but this well, is a guy who's got to make business work. Oh, in video, he said it here first. We are just going to have to wait and see how it all shakes out. But certainly, as you mentioned, it is not uh, going to be boring. That's for sure. No, it should be fun. So <laughs> it, keep an eye on Twitter, guys. A lot of fun stuff's happening over yep. there. We are going to check back in with you. Like you said, you think it's going to happen before the year is over. So, uh, yep, checking my, uh, my clock and my calendar. Time is ticking. We'll check back in with you soon. Owen, thanks so much for your time tonight. Can't wait. Happy holidays. Thanks. You too.